Good afternoon, my Re News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update. And in the news this afternoon, Tufton remains in hospital in stable condition after surgery. Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton remains in the University Hospital of the West Indies following a crash in St. Andrew on Sunday morning while he was out cycling. In a social media post, Tufton said, the incident involved a dancehall artist the Valiant who took him to the hospital after he was hit off his bicycle by a motor vehicle. In a release on Sunday evening, the Health and Wellness Ministry said that Tufton is in stable condition and is now resting after surgery on his wrist and knee. The ministry also said he is in good spirits and will remain in hospital overnight. The minister has thanked the members of the public who have kept him in their prayers and have sent their best wishes, the release also stated. PNP's Birchall criticizes special treatment for Tufton after bike accident. Pointing out that Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton got a hospital bed immediately after he injured his wrist in a bicycle accident on Sunday, People's National Party representative for St. James's Southern, Nikisha Birchell, hit out at what she argued was a double standard in the health care system. According to Birchell, many Jamaicans are placed in chairs for days at hospitals. Well, I say, the Minister of Health, as he said, fell off a bicycle and broke his wrist. And two twos in there in a comfortable bed of hospital. How many of, how many of you have relatives who's have, who've had to sit on a hospital chair for days with serious, serious, serious condition. The health minister bypassed the chair. Them can't go down in a hospital bed. And people still sit them out at door, pan chair, are dead. Tufton was reported riding his bicycle on Charlemont Avenue in St. Andrew when he was hit by a motor vehicle. In a post to social media, the minister expressed a gratitude to God and the well-wishers who reached out after news of his accident broke. He also shared a photo of himself in a hospital bed with a bandage to his forehead, shaking hands with a dancehall artist Valiant, who he confirmed was involved in the incident. High Commander Confirms a Shooting of Cop The police high command has confirmed an incident involving a police corporal who was shot and injured in Sydenham, Spanish Town, St. Catherine on Sunday, June 2, at about 5 a.m. A release from the high command said that the corporal who was shot is assigned to the Clarendon Police Division and was attacked in an apparent robbery attempt. We extend our deepest sympathy and support to him and his family during this difficult time. We are relieved and grateful that he survived this attack, demonstrating remarkable courage and resilience, said the High Command. We take this opportunity to strongly advise individuals against engaging in criminal activities and attacking our police officers. The men and women of the JCF are highly trained professionals equipped with superior skills and expertise to handle various threats. They are instructed to utilize their training effectively, especially when confronted with armed adversaries, the constabulary said. It is important for the public to understand that any assault on our officers can provoke a decisive and a potentially fatal response. Our officers are committed to protecting themselves and the community, and they will act swiftly and decisively to neutralize any threat posed to their lives or the lives of others, the High Command asserted. It further said that the JCF remains steadfast in its commitment to maintaining law and order and ensuring the safety of citizens and the police officers. We urge everyone to work together with law enforcement to create a safer Jamaica for all, concluded the High Command. Information gleamed from sources about the incident suggested that the lawman was ambushed and shot and injured during an attempted robbery but managed to cut down one of his attackers. Reports are that the officer was on his way to work when he was ambushed by a number of men, including at least one with a gun. The assailants reportedly tried to rob him and the corporal, in defending himself, shot one of the perpetrators. It is believed that a firearm was recovered. 
The lawman's injuries are said to be serious but are not believed to be life-threatening. New money charged with 2022 rape on his return to the island. A St. Elizabeth farmer and a construction worker of Barbary Hall district in the parish has been charged with rape in relation to a reported incident in his community on Friday, August 12, 2022. Charged is 35-year-old Odin Lee, otherwise called a new money. Reports from the Black River Police were that a woman was offered a ride home and she boarded a Toyota Voxy motor vehicle with Lee and the driver aboard. While transporting her home, the driver reportedly diverted her to a sports complex where Lee pulled her from the vehicle and sexually assaulted her. A report was made to the police and an investigation was launched with a warrant being obtained by investigators for Lee's arrest. The police said on Thursday, May 30, Lee was arrested after he returned to the island. His court date is being finalized. Government is supporting youth and disabled persons in agriculture, says Morris Dixon. The government is committed to ensuring that the youth gain access to funds to support their agricultural endeavors, Cabinet Minister Senator Dr. Dana Morris Dixon has said. According to her, the Agriculture, Fisheries and the Mining Ministry is earmarking $390 million for such young farmers locally. Morris Dixon, the minister without a portfolio in the office of the Prime Minister with responsibility for information, skills and the digital transformation, made the announcement at last week's post-cabinet press briefing. She said the Floyd Green-led Agriculture, Fisheries and the Mining Ministry will also be providing assistance to persons with disabilities along with women. 25% of all new agropark lands will be reserved or assigned to women, youth and persons with disabilities, said Morris Dixon. This is our administration saying we're not leaving anyone behind. Everyone is going on that prosperity train and that has already moved off the platform, she stated. In his contribution to the sectoral debate on May 21, Green said through an initiative called the Project Feeding the Economy through Empowerment and Development, 25% of all new agro-park lands will be reserved for assignment to women, youth and persons with disabilities. He further indicated that $390 million under the Ministry's Production Incentive Program will be earmarked for access by young farmers to support specific crop lines. Green said youth will be able to apply via a special portal created by the Rural Agricultural Development Authority to access the benefit and through their elected representatives subject to the appropriate verifications. On their project feed, we will be partnering with the Hart NSDA Trust to provide youth and women who graduate and are certified in greenhouse production with a greenhouse or shadehouse free of cost and input support for their first crop, he outlined. The minister further noted that under the initiative, a $100 million agricultural scholarship program is to be introduced to provide support for young people, especially those excelling in agriculture and related fields. Green also said island-wide tractor operations and maintenance training are to be provided free of cost. This, he said, will be done in partnership with Hart and SDA Trust and the private sector. He also informed that on the project feed, the Jamaica for each clubs is to introduce a new small ruminant training program to train and certify youth and women. The minister advised that at the end of that exercise, the participants are to be provided with animals to start their own commercial operations. Guys, thank you for watching. See you this evening at 6 p.m. for another news update.